The opening week of Queensland's new parliament was a turning point in more ways than one. Before today's dramatic events, another first-time MP quietly took his place in the chamber and in the history books. Rob Pine, the member for Cairns, is no stranger to public life, having been a local councillor until his election win. But his arrival in George Street has been a new experience for the parliament itself. Oh, how's it going? Good to see you. In a week of firsts for the Queensland Parliament, Rob Pine presented an extra challenge to the old order. It's convention to stand for the Speaker. I'll probably be the first uh, MP not to be doing that. Certainly the first that I'm aware of uh, from a permanent uh, capacity. The member for Cairns earned his place in the chamber with one of the biggest swings in the state. And the microphone and, and the button, I think going to work. Uh, people would always say how wonderful you are and what an inspiration you are. So I was very keen to work in a field where you didn't get any easy passes. But winning his electorate was far from his biggest fight. In 1991, when he was 23, Rob Pine dived off a boat and was paralysed from the chest down. Certainly a lot of career paths were ruled out. Uh, I'm not going to become a block layer or a meat worker, so um, it certainly is something I can do. I can speak up on behalf of the people of Cairns. The sentiment was echoed in his campaign slogan, though it hasn't always been easy to convince others he could. This video emerged three days before the election, although no one's owned up to making it. I learned to develop a thick skin, and I think if you're going to break down, um, when people start to criticise you, you're not going to last long in public life. His wife Jenny is his carer and constant companion. He, he does need assistance. There is, there's no denying that there are certain things he can't do. Um, so I, I get the privilege of going down um, to Brisbane and we're sort of a partnership. So we come as a team, basically. <laughs> it's meant changes too at the 150-year-old parliament. We removed two of the chairs, um, removed the desk that was there and we had this desk um, in store. The Heritage Act requires that those changes be reversible. So um, they're very careful about how they perform the work, but I'm hopeful they won't need to reverse those changes for some time. <laughs> While Mr Pine reluctantly acknowledges he is trapping, his supporters say his wheelchair doesn't define him. You don't even see the chair, you don't even see his disability. And we've only got to look at history where Theodore Roosevelt uh, conducted World War II during in, sitting in a wheelchair. So let's clear the hurdles so we can see more and more people with disabilities achieving in future years. Shani Kim, ABC News, Cairns.